up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here with our live Aviator offseason in year number three. We are streaming this live, and currently we have 415 people in the stream. This is right under my record, man. My record overall is 503 or something like that. But we're just getting going now, and it is looking good. Sneaky Nation has been rising up, and it is unbelievable. Uh, Arju, you're really bad at banning blue. Arju, you are bad at banning blue. I gave Arju the task of banning blue for the next few minutes while I do the intro, and I'm seeing blue just spam up the chat. Come on, Arju. Step up your mod game, kid. Nah, I'm messing with you. Um, but guys, we are here. Let me say hey to a few people. I'm going to do my best to get everybody, but I'm telling you now, I'm going to miss some names, guys, so please forgive me. Free, Pats, Andy Dwyer, Kino, Cactus, Rufin Dominator, Oh my gosh, Drew, Cuddles, Hot Dog, PMC, Philly, Cue Ball, EA Spin, Joey Max, ZTO. What up, ZTO? Uh, Woobier, Arbalist, Arju, Legend. Oh man, it's going so quick now, I can't. Dirty Durs, Cactus, ah, Jay Lesh, Minnesota Sports Fan, what up, Craigy? Oh, it's it, I can't even do it. It's just all spam. The chat is just all spam. I see Garrett, Jake, Johnny, SPX, F Manda Swag, what up guys, Stu, I can't, I can't, it's way too quick now, Miracle Whipper, but I do have a few more shout outs I have to give guys, we've been doing this stream um, for a little bit now, we, we wanted people to filter into the room, and I've got some major shout outs to give, so, uh, Anar, Perry, Miracle Whipper, Jake, Madden Dude 132 red KWatts, Q-Ball100, Panther Nation 89 Cleveland Browns, aka Jacob, Vic Croc, Rex Ryan, aka Jacob, and I'll, I'll get back to that one in a second. Perry again, Panther Nation 89 again, another Jacob, Mike Patin, <laughs> and Eagles for the NFC East have all donated quite a few times tonight. They are absolutely insane. So, Sneaky Nation, rise up and show them some love before we get going with this offseason stream because they have been helping me out all night. They are absolutely incredible. So show them some love, everybody. And uh, I also have to give a few more shout-outs. I think two more right now. Wait, let me go over. Let me go back to the dashboard here. Uh, so two more shout-outs uh, to Hunter, Ren, and Soli for the uh, subscriptions today. Guys, thank you all so much. All right, man. It is time. Let's go ahead and get going with this. And first things first, re-signing some players. Now, we have some difficult decisions to make right here, guys. Because there's a lot of guys that we're, we're kind of unsure about. I know a lot of people really dislike Bishop Sankey. I don't know why. The guy averaged over five yards of carry for us. And people are like, he sucks. I'm sorry, five yards of carry doesn't suck. And you can spin it. You might not like Sankey as a player. I get that. That's perfectly fine if you don't like Sankey as a player. But the guy has been producing for us. Now, what he has not been doing is getting into the end zone. Um, and that is a concern. Jake Long, I think we're just going to let him go at this point. He's 33 years old. He's been declining pretty rapidly. I wish him the best of luck. Um, but we are going to have to find a replacement at uh, a tackle position. I think we had Jake Long playing right tackle. So we're going to have to find somebody to play over a right tackle for us. Amu Kamara and Kirkpatrick, man. You know, they were very streaky throughout the season. There was times when they looked pretty good. But then there's been a lot of times when they just did not not need to be on the field at all. And it leaves us with, with the question, what do we have to do here? Like, should we go for them? Give them another chance? I mean, we can see what they're trying to get here. Or do we go with some of the younger guys? Tyrone Stevens did look pretty good. Like, I don't want to offer a Mucamara $6.5 million deal. Even for a year, I just don't want to do it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. By the way, I forgot to do this before. For good luck, baby, we are wearing our Devrin Golden Crusaders t-shirt. I figured we needed to bring all the luck we could tonight. Um, we need to, we need to really knock it out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that scares me to death, dude. Take me, Cap, but Jacob is the best. <laughs> Blue's banning himself now. Arju, are you still banning Blue for me? I need you to ban Blue, Arju. Or one of the mods. I'll let Jacob do it. I'll let Jacob do it since Blue clearly loves Jacob and thinks Jacob is the best. Jacob, if you could take over the role of banning Blue while I get this introduction done, 
I would appreciate it, man. Oh, Blue. Even Blue wants to be banned nowadays. You know, it's just a cool thing to do, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, guys. Back to what I was saying is... Um, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. Devon Golden. Good luck. You know, we really need to knock it out of the park with this draft so we can uh, take everything to the next level. Daquan Jones played really good for us. I was actually planning on moving away from him. But, I, I mean, look. He's not asking for a big deal. Oh, gosh. Cue balls, ma. Cue balls, mom. I love it. My son is the best. We love you, Sneaky. Oh, Cue balls, mom. Thank you so much, Cue ball. Oh, man. Rotary. X7 Rotary with the subscription. Dude, thank you so much. Everybody throw up all of the love for Cue ball. His wonderful mother, Rotary, and uh, Jacob. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys. And uh, <laughs> uh, Waffles isn't here to wreck. Waffles is not here to wreck her. But uh, everybody can still throw up all the emotes and celebration. And also, if you are watching on YouTube, you get the people watching on YouTube are going to have to rely on the Twitch viewers right now. But I did make a promise. All right, I, I'm going to say I don't know how to dab it all. I don't know... I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I've never really cared to know. I have no idea, man. Um, but I've promised the viewers that if we got five subs tonight, I would dab. And we are two away. And Rotary, we do still have a spot in the Xbox One League, dude. Unless you want to do a PS4. I also said if we get enough interest in the PS4 League, I'll start up a second one, man. If you guys want to do that, I'll, I'm willing to try to start up a second one, guys. So uh, if we get a lot of subscribers that are trying to do that, we'll make it happen, man. Because I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, dude. You guys are incredible. I really appreciate you. So that's another option, man. So just let me know, uh, Rotary, and uh, I'll get up with you about it. Or I can have somebody else in the league message you the info. Kick, just sneeze? What? You, or Vic, you want me to sneeze? Why do you want me to sneeze? Parrish Cox, he didn't really do much for us last year. He's also up there in age. Um, he's a good, good... Guy to get interceptions, though. Chris Owusu, I definitely want to bring back. I do want Owusu back. Where's Blue at? Are you guys still... There he is. All right. <laughs> Where are you, Blue? He's on the hunt for him. I like it. Um, let's bring Owusu back two more years, man. I just... I have that connection with Owusu, dude. I want to bring him back, man. I just do. Um, oh. No, no. All right. Um, yeah, so we're giving him a, a tad bit more than he's asking for. Not a whole lot more, though. All right, man. I might have to. I might have to YouTube it first. I've seen him do it a million times, but to perfect my craft, I might have to like look it up. Oh, Chris Owusu said no. We we can still get him though. We can still get him. Uh, Tavares Morgan looked really good for us, man. Uh, let's try to bring him back, dude. Um, you know, a late guy, a late round guy. I guess he didn't play a whole lot in the regular season, but in the preseason, he did pretty solid for us, man. I, I might... Owusu's like our team mascot, dude. He's like our good luck charm. He's like our good luck charm. Morgan didn't like that either. I'm giving them more than they're asking for. I don't know what they're looking for then. Um, so the, the big questions are, what do we do with Mark Weston Huff? What do we do with Bishop Sankey? I don't want to offer Amukamara that deal. I don't. I'm going to offer him less. If he accepts less, great. We'll take him back on a year deal. But I'm not offering him six and a half million dollars. I'm just not. He, he did not play up to that for me um we're gonna have to find something else yeah see he's not gonna do that so what is Kirkpatrick looking for then let's try to find this out um yeah I was giving him a bonus not like a huge one but I'm still giving him some money man uh it's a twitch subscriber league man it's a twitch subscriber league I, I don't want to give Drake Kirkpatrick a four-year deal no way um if anything I'd probably bring him back for another year or two uh, Sankey is backup. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I wouldn't mind having Sankey as a backup. Uh, the chat is pretty torn on whether or not they want Huff back. The chat's pretty torn on it. Let's see what Sankey's looking for first. Let's see what kind of contract he's looking for. So Kirkpatrick's looking for a little over four million. Uh, a little over, I'm sorry, three million a year. Um, do you guys want to bring back Kirkpatrick? Sankey could be good in the second string, though. Like, he could be a good backup. Because he, he averaged over five yards to carry, man. Let's see. Every, the chat is torn on Sankey. The chat is torn on... 
See, how can you say Sankey sucks, though? You're just saying it because you don't like Sankey. He averaged over five yards a carry, dude. You don't suck if you average over five yards a carry, man. Yo, there's a straw pull. There's a straw pull. You just don't suck if you average over five yards a carry, man. Um, I want to bring back Sankey. I, I know you guys might not like him, but if I'm looking at this from a GM perspective, five yards a carry, he's getting it done. He might not be getting into the end zone, but we, we've had success in the red zone still. We've been finding other ways to score some points. Um, so if anything, I'm probably going to bring him back in a backup role. This is, guys, to show you how torn the chat is, there is a straw poll going on, and it is currently 21 to 19, 21 to 20. I mean... People are straight up torn on this decision. Um, and so, you know, I, I want to bring him back in a backup role. Kirkpatrick, on the other hand, I don't know, dude. Well, I'll get back to that. Let's see what Sankey's looking for. Let's see. If he's asking for some monster contract, we can't do it. Dude, he's barely asking for over $3 million a year. Dude, that's nothing. I'm not going to give him a five-year deal. I'll give him a two-year deal. I'll give him a two-year deal, but barely going for over $3 million a year, dude, that's a bargain for what he gave us, man. That's a bargain. Um, and again, if we can find a better guy to start, I'm perfectly cool with that, dude. I'm perfectly fine with that. But for now, Sankey is doing well, so um, I, I'm not going to hate on that at all. There's a new poll. This is new. Oh, man, look at this. I've never noticed this before. Oh, my gosh. Better Twitch TV. You are my hero. All right, we'll offer them, him this. I'm not going to go... Uh, a longer deal though. I don't want him for sure. Um, all right. It looked like he accepted that. I think Sankey accepted it. All right. What's Huff looking for here? Uh, guys, vote on that Huff poll too, man. Vote on the Huff poll. Yeah, I already got that one up. I already got that one up. That Sankey poll ended up. All right. Yeah, that Sankey poll ended up. Fifty-two people said to keep him. Thirty-five said to cut him. And again, I know people are like, I don't like. Like Sankey, but he, he did good. He doesn't suck. You can't say he sucks. He averaged over five yards a carry. The Huff pull, it's torn too. It's 50-50. It's 21 to 20 right now. So 51-49 ish right right around there. But let's see. Get a short yardage guy. Well, I want to get a fast guy. I need another Dexter McCluster roll, man. I need somebody else in that Dexter McCluster roll. The majority of the people are saying keep Huff. Now, the difference with Huff right now is we have McKnight, a second-year guy now. He was a rookie last year. I didn't want to play him a whole lot his rookie season. But, you know, Huff is an, another inconsistent guy. Like, he looks really good one game, then he turns around and and struggles. We need to figure out where to go. Hey, uh, are we caught up on banning blue, Arju? Let me know. Let me know if you've been uh, keeping up with that. Um, But, yeah. We have McKnight behind him. Let's go look at McKnight next to Huff, and we'll make a decision based on that. How about we do that? Um, because I don't want to bring back Huff if our future is going to be McKnight. You know what I'm saying? So we have to look at this a little bit closer, and we'll make a decision. Huff's played okay for us, but he's struggled a lot too, man. So here we go. Let's see what we got. Now, consistency... McKnight's going to be getting more XP. Man coverage, they're not going to be a man a whole lot. Zone coverage, Huff's better. I feel like that's a little skewed, though, because we've seen... How many times did we see Huff get burned? You know what I'm saying? How many times did we see him get burned? You ran out of Sprite and Vodka? No. Uh, play recognition, McKnight's going to be better there. Um, pursuit a little better. Tackling, Huff's going to be better. Hit power, though, McKnight. Jumping Huff. Catching is going to be McKnight. McKnight's going to make some more plays is what I'm getting from this. But Huff's better in coverage. However, that could change. We could always, you know, start developing McKnight a little bit more now. So what I might do here is bring Huff back on a one-year deal. And maybe he's going to back up McKnight this time. Maybe we're going to give McKnight a shot to start. And if McKnight doesn't earn his role as that starter, we'll quickly turn it around and start Huff again. But there's a lot of times when, when you know, you guys got to remember, I have my settings set up to where players get tired a lot. And backups play quite a lot for me. Um, so let's, let's see if we can bring him back on a one-year deal, have him play a, a more limited role. Start McKnight 
And if McKnight's not getting it done, we'll turn it right back around. And uh, some people are saying move Huff the corner. I don't know. We can look into that. We'll look into it. But um, for now, he could potentially back up both safety spots. I don't know because I still might need a replacement in strong safety. I really wasn't happy with Stafford this year. Um, so we might have to look. You have to give him some kind of bonus money or they just won't even do it. So he's looking for a little over $3 million a year, right? So let's try to do this. He's going to want more if he's on a shorter deal. So let's try a one-year $4 million deal. See if he can uh, make some plays as that backup for us. And if he does, you know, because again, oh, he's not interested in that. All right, well, we might have to re reevaluate that one. I don't really want to bring back Kirkpatrick, but we'll see what you guys think. Grant we can move on from. What do y'all want to do with Kirkpatrick here? Uh, I'd rather move on. Let's go look at our corner situation first. Because um, I know we have Eduardo Ivory down there kind of waiting for his turn too. We have a lot of guys that we're ready for. I think, yeah, I think, you know, working on McKnight's going to be a better option in the long run. We, we saw Huff make a lot of bad plays. And for his coverage skills being that good, dude, it did not appear like it. Um, so Stevens, obviously our number one here. So three of our top four corners are free agents. Um, but we have Eduardo Ivory here. So let's see if he's going to be ready. He, now, see, he has good man coverage right off the bat. Like, outside of Prince of Mucamara, Tyrone Stevens, he's the next guy. Like, so uh, zone coverage, that's not as important. Um, I usually keep them in man. Not always, though. So let's see. Tackling, not that great, though. Um, catch, 74. Like, he has the best hands on my defense. So I want to get Eduardo Ivory some time. He also has some pretty good size at 6'1". Keep Dre. Bring Dre back. I see a lot of people saying bring Dre back. It might be a good idea just if we're going to lose out on Cox and uh, Amuka Mera. We might want to bring him back. But I want to do it on a short deal. Um, like a two-year, one-year, two-year deal. Because um, still, I still might try to bring Huff back. Oops. I still might try to bring Huff back. So we'll see. All right. See what we can do. All right. So two-year deal. He's asking for a little over three million. So we'd probably want to do something like something like that. That's the isn't that the same contract we offered Huff? Is he worth that? Let's do a one-year deal. Let's offer a one-year deal. Because I want to move in a different direction. I really was not too happy with how he performed. Yeah, he, he took it. He took the one-year deal. Good. There we go. So we need to bring a Wusu back. He's kind of like our good luck charm. And I want to look into bringing Marquest and Huff back as well. So, there we go. Here we go. Let's advance. We did bring back a, quite a few good players, though. We got Daquan Jones back. He really stepped it up, man. I was not anticipating him dominating as much as he did later john wall take it easy dude so we'll see what we can do here guys we'll see what we can do and uh is whoever i'm playing in the xbox league are you here tonight dude if you are let me know because maybe we can start up oh dude well let's go look at what i need before we do anything um let me know if you're here because maybe we can play our game after the offseason stream all right let's do this Let's do it to it, baby. Draft another free safety as a backup. That might be a good idea. I'll probably need one. All right. So, Mariota gets injured quite a lot. There's Sankey. Uh, Doran Dickerson. Good there. Wide receiver. Happy with these two. Might look for other options elsewhere. Uh, tight end. Pretty pretty stoked with what we got between these two guys. Uh, left tackle. We're set. Left guard. We're set. Uh, center. Uh, if I could find a center and move Warmack back over here, but Roberts, apparently Roberts made the Pro Bowl and I just looked over him. Uh, we are going to need a right tackle though. We are going to need a right tackle. Uh, Daquan Jones, I really wanted to move Knight over into this spot eventually, but Daquan Jones just played too good. Casey, I'm down to try to trade. Uh, we'll throw Casey on the trade block, see if we get any offers for him. If I can find a defensive tackle too. Wait, where's Nada? Did Nada, Nada retired. We need to go look at that retirement. So, not a retired there. Uh, Derek Morgan playing well for us. Avery Williamson and McElroy, happy with them. Arakbo, 
happy enough. Although, I wouldn't mind. Arakpo played pretty good, but... You know, Bradford in very limited time actually forced more fumbles than Arakpo did all season, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not positive on that, but... And that's kind of weird looking at this, but... Bradford forced a few fumbles, man. He did a good job with that. Um, obviously, Arakpo's the better player, but... I wonder if I throw Arakpo on the trading block. I'm not saying I'm going to trade him, and it's not only the Appalachian State thing. You guys saw him forcing some fumbles. Um, it's something to look into, though. It's something to at least look into. Alright, so let's go back. Um, yeah, let's let's throw Casey on the trade block. Oh, no, the alert thing went down again. I got it. It's, it's fixed again. Alright, so here we go, roster. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't manually do trades. I'll just throw somebody on the trade block and we'll see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Add to trade block. Alright, there we go. And then let's go over here, and let's find Arakpo. And again, I don't know that I'm going to... Well, I doubt anybody's going to offer anything for Arakpo, dude. He's 32 years old. Um, thirty At 32, players stop getting a whole lot of offers for him. But we'll see. What up, BK? How you doing, dude? How art thou, man? All right. So let's go back to free agents. I don't need that guard, even though 99 overall. Ooh, that, that's awesome. Um, Starla Tulele is there. I could use a defensive tackle, and we have his cousin on our team. Uh, Calvin Pryor is available. Wow. Wow. He doesn't really fit our, our scheme, though. Uh, coachability. So, look at that. They all have the same. They all have the same interests. Location? Columbus? This guy loves Columbus. Is he from Columbus? Do you guys know? I don't even know. All right, see you all here. Chandler Jones is there. Turner. Um, and I know a lot of people love just going out and signing every big name free agent, but that's not me. I kind of want to keep it pretty realistic, guys. Uh, so we'll see. Um, Arju, did you ever did you catch up on all the band blues, dude? I missed it. I missed it if you caught up on all the band blues. So let's look at right tackle. 89 overall, 27, that would be a pretty solid option. And that's going to continue to improve our run game. Uh, so I am down to get in on bidding for him. And again, you know, we're not a very attractive team to a lot of a lot of teams here. So we might have to overbid to bring in some good players. Um, but I'm down to bring in him. That, that'd be a good move on our part, I feel like. And if we miss out on him, nobody's bidding on Justin Britt. I wonder if that'd be better. If I go and withdraw that other one. 21 and 10. What will we throw on him? Let's let's withdraw this. Let's go back. Let's The difference isn't incredible. We'll save some money. Nobody's bidding on him, so we might not have to overbid yet. Now the second fluker goes off their radar. We might have to start overbidding. Well, I guess if I'm doing that, I guess it's coming out about the same, isn't it? It's coming out about the same. Yeah, it's going to come out about the same if I overbid. It's not that big of a difference. Let's go with the better player. Originally, I wasn't going to do that, but... it, it There is a mild difference, but not in the big scre uh, grand scheme of things. Guys, I don't need Jarvis Landry, dude. I don't really need him, man. I again, I don't go the whole. I don't go the whole. Let's just sign every top player there is. That that you know, that's not too realistic. I want to avoid doing that. Um, I want to sign players based on needs, and uh, and their scheme. And if we are going to bring in a big name, you know, you can see by the interest, we're going to have to overbid some. Like that's just the reality of it. Uh, so right outside the linebacker, if I do trade, no, nope, there's nobody there. Uh, McCordy's available. A lot of older guys. Kyle Fuller might be a good good pick. And he fits the 3-4 defense. Although I feel like I could find somebody. He's only an 81 overall. I feel like we could do better than that. Um, I don't need Pryor. Because we just made the decision to go with McKnight. You know, a young guy that looks really good at safety. Uh, the Cowboys are going for Huff. Uh, so I might need to sign a backup. Or we could draft a backup. That's another option there. So, uh... We'll see. I don't need Edelman, dude. Edelman's a little bit up there in age. 
Uh, but I don't need... Uh, I do need a strong safety. I do kind of want to move away from who we have. Uh, Dion Buchanan. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Panther Nation 89! Dude, thank you so much, man. <laughs> Sneaky Nation, throw up those giggities, baby. Thank you so much, Panther Nation. I appreciate that, dude. Uh, Buchanan might be a good way to go here, but before I do that, I need to I need to make some moves, dude. I'm gonna have to release one of these safeties, dude. Maybe both. I don't know. I'm not too happy with what they've been giving me. Um, Stafford looked pretty good that that first year, but since he's really dropped the ball quite a lot, um, I don't need him and Cersei. Cersei didn't do a whole lot. Let's see if we're gonna take a hit. We are taking a little bit of a hit with that. Um, so if I do, I might keep Stafford on to be the backup there. That's what I might do. I might hold on to Stafford and we're going to have to find somebody else. But I would not mind getting Walker involved here. Um, and, uh, yo, Arju, are you banning blue or should I do it? I don't know if blue's been banned or not. I might need to ban some blues, guys. Throw up all the banned blues. Throw it all up. I'm waiting to see what Arju says. But look. All right, so his zone coverage is 80. Not horrible. It could be better, though. But why I like this guy, 85 catch. This is a playmaker. This is a guy going to make some plays. And then hit power is a lot better, too. I mean, if I need a playmaking safety, Walker is going to be the way to go. But his coverage is just not there yet to get a lot of time. And that's what worries me. So even if I release Stafford, then Walker can get those backup minutes. He couldn't really get backup minutes behind Stafford and uh, Cersei. But right now, he might be able to. So let's, let's look at Stafford's contract and see if I'm going to take a big hit by releasing him. I'll have to go to salaries to do that. Let's see. You banned blue already? All right. Thank you, Arju. Thank you, Arju. Everybody, throw up those banned blues, man. I love it. All right. Wait. I have to go over here. Alright, so so I take a little bit of a hit by releasing him. You know what? We lost in the playoffs because of him, man. We lost in the playoffs because of him. Neither him or Cersei have been playing very well for us at all. They really haven't. Our safeties are just getting torn apart. Um, it's time it's time to change up our secondary, man. You know, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and expecting different results. We've given that crew quite a few years to work with now, and it's just not happening. It's just not happening. We have to move on from them. Um, so bringing in Buchanan, 26 years old, 3-4 scheme, fits what we are looking to do. Um, and that is golden to me right now. So we're going to have to overbid. Again, we're not, we're not a destination that's going to attract a whole lot of people unfortunately um so see if we can do that let's see if that we can make that work if i could bring him in that'd be a big get for us people are saying well we can look at quarterback too now um jamal charles is 31 i kind of want to avoid that jeremy hill doesn't really have the speed i'd be looking for um, honestly, what I want is a fast guy. I, w I want another guy like McCluster. We really missed McCluster last year because we couldn't get those outside runs quite as well. So, um, look at the player card first. We can do that. Let's go over here. So, player card. All right. Zone coverage is only 81. Ah. Hit power is 92, though. We can't see his catch. 90 tackle. Good in run support. Our run defense could be... I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Should I withdraw that and try to draft somebody? But that could be a that could be an issue, too. What are you guys thinking here? Draft another running back? We can look at him for sure. One thing I'm considering doing is if I can't find a running back that I really like, is drafting a really fast... Oh, gosh! Hollywood! Number one. 
Hollywood. Oh my gosh. Dude. Hollywood, everybody. What? Throw up all the love for Hollywood right now. Oh my gosh, dude. Hollywood, thank you. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm changing it right now. I'm, I'm changing it right now. Number one. Guys, that is the highest single stream donation that I have ever gotten. And that you are, you are going to be five, but Waffle actually topped you after you left that last stream. Dude, everybody throw up all of the love. Hollywood, thank you so much, dude. I don't even... I don't even know what to say, dude. I... I don't feel like any amount of thank yous is ever going to be enough, dude. Wow. All of the love to Hollywood. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Let me let me see how you have your numbers down there so I can fix it. Dude. You are awesome, man. 4143. Thank you so much, dude. Everybody spam Hollywood some love. Unbelievable. Taking over. The number one highest stream donation that I've ever received. And that, that says a lot because I've had quite a lot of people setting the bar high. Dude, thank you so much, Hollywood. I, I, I don't know. Hollywood, we're going to let you make a draft choice on that, dude. Or like all my draft choices. I don't know. I don't even know, dude. Hollywood, thank you so much. Um, I need to, find, I need to enable Whisper so I can whisper Hollywood really quick. So let me go back and do that. Let me enable whispers. All right. I want to I'm going to whisper Hollywood because that's that's some like next level stuff right there, man. Dude. Uh this means the blue song YouTube. We're going to be right back and if somebody could just ban blue for 10 minutes when he gets back. That's a 10 minute ban. I don't even care. That's 10 minutes. Blue, you're 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 just ten minute band. I don't know, dude. We're doing it. YouTube, we'll be right back. We gotta get some hype going on. Once again, all of the love to Hollywood four one four three. He's gonna be some co GM tonight, man. He is gonna make some decisions, dude. Thank you so much, everybody. Once again, throw up that love. Let's get this going. What did we decide on Buchanan, man? Maybe I shouldn't bring him in if his zone coverage is only eighty one. If his zone coverage is only 81, what do you guys think? The alert sound is messed up too? Well, the, the music's off now, Perry. Sounded like a robot. That's really weird, dude. I wonder why. Huh. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why the audio was bad. 99 play receiver is that what it is oh play recognition ah play rec i don't know what i was thinking all right guys yeah all right we'll bring him in we'll give him a shot we'll give him a shot we will give him a shot i don't know why that audio is so distorted dude somebody was saying the alerts is distorted too the, dis the alert shouldn't be making a sound at all is the alerts like the follow alert making a sound it shouldn't be all right. Well, uh, let's go look at corners. Somebody said to look down here for Roby. Player card. Uh, good man coverage. Good speed. All right. Um, I did bring Drake Kirkpatrick back. So right now I have three corners. We might want to draft one, but if our draft doesn't go well, getting a guy like Roby could be good. I wish I knew what his catch was. Do you guys know what Roby's catch is? Because that might be something that we have to consider. It sounded like a busted speaker all fuzzy. Maybe it was freaking out with that donation too. It's playing for every single... 
Hold on, let me try this. It might echo this way, guys. It might echo, but I, I don't know why that would be happening. I don't know. We'll try this. I apologize that that was all wonky sounding. Oh, gosh. Panther Nation 89! Dude, thank you so much, man. Oh, man. Dude, thank you so much. You guys are all absolutely insane. Uh, I, I really appreciate all of you guys. Let's see. Yes, yeah. Uh, Rotary, um, can one of the guys in the uh, Sneaky Nation subscriber Xbox One League message X7, Rotary X7, the uh, password and all the info? 76 catch. All right, we'll bring him in. We will bring him in. Uh, Rotary, I'll get to you after the stream if nobody else does. How did that sound? Did that sound all wonky? But everybody, throw up some love for Panther Nation again and uh, get ready to ban some blue. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Jake. I, yo, guys, Jake, I'm really sorry to hear that, man. That That's a bummer, dude. I got to disable these whispers, though. I got to do it. People aren't listening to me when I ask them not to whisper. Uh, Jake, dude, talk to me in the chat, though, because I'm, I'm trying to read the chat, guys. Uh, but, Jake, I'm really sorry to hear that, man. Um, oh, gosh. What are you guys doing? Cue ball. Dude. I know it's I know that it's repeating there's like an auto glitch on that hopefully it's not so bad that was horrible sounding it is wonky why is it so wonky I don't know I don't know yo cue ball thank you so much dude you guys guys I think we just broke the single stream donation record tonight I think we just smashed it to be honest I don't know you guys are incredible thank y'all so much man let's bring in roby um why does it sound wonky i wonder if i just turn off all the sounds maybe it sounds like a robot that's so weird that's so weird guys i apologize that it's sounding weird it doesn't usually do this i wonder if they're having an issue on twitch alerts with it i don't know I don't know. I apologize, but everybody throw up some Sneaky Nation love for Hollywood, for Q-Ball, and for Panther Nation. You guys are just unbelievable, man. I don't know. Thank you, guys. Um, all right, so let's look at our negotiations. Let's go back to all. And I'd be cool if we just picked up these three people and then focused on the draft. I'd be cool with that. Let's see. I'd be cool if we could do that. Oh, it's 68 catch. Okay, it's 68. All right. Well, we'll give him a shot. Blue is still banned. Just ban him again whenever he gets back. <laughs> Thank you, Arju. Thank you. No, we're not getting Charles. Yeah, he's a little bit older than what I'm looking for right now. The Buchanan bid isn't the highest. I don't... I don't want to overdo it for Buchanan, though. We'll go a little higher. Boy, we're not even at the top three with that, dude. We're not down here with Roby either. Roby's got quite a lot of suitors as well. Do I want to throw... Honestly, I don't want to throw any more than what I already have at Roby. Um, Buchanan, on the other hand, is different. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to give Roby more than that, man. I don't want to give Roby more than that. I don't know. I guess that's not all that much. Four. Jeez. It's like five million a year overall. A little over five million. If we're not. Yeah. I mean, he's only 81. So we're talking about. Yeah. I'll be okay letting him go. Um, Buchanan, though. Cam Chancellor's better. Cam Chancellor's a little bit older, and he doesn't fit my scheme, where Dion Buchanan does fit my scheme. I'm trying, Andy Dwyer, dude. I'm trying, man. Let's see. No Roby? Yeah, we, we won't go any higher on Roby. Ah, jeez. I'm not going to go any higher on Buchanan, either. 
we just might not be able to get him, guys. We just might not be able to get him. That just might be how it is. Alright. Let's advance so we can kind of see how things play out a little bit. Jonathan Stewart? Was he even there? I don't know what... Jonathan Stewart's got to be old at this point, though. Right? Because I know he's getting up there in real life, and this is year three offseason. Is he in the, in the game anymore? Oh, man. We'll check it out. Let's. What we can do right here is we can scout some players, guys, and we can find out what we like in the draft. And if we see a, something that we really like, we might not have to try to sign somebody. You see what I'm saying? So if there's some guys here like Jabbar Jordan, look at this. Uh, good hit power. Z, C plus zone coverage is about as good as you're going to get with most safeties, I've learned. Um... 465 speed. What does that come out to? I, I'd, I'm trying to draft a fast running back, though. Oh, we got our combines now. So let's look for some running backs. Let's see how fast they are. If I can't find a fast running back, they're probably not going to be that fast. If 452 is the third fastest, we might be in trouble. We might not have a lot of fast running backs right here. Let's find out. Is it still doing sound on those alerts, the follow alerts? Because it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be doing that at all. If it is, I might just have to turn off alerts and pay attention to something else. Because I don't want it to mess y'all up. Is 84 speed? Ah, that's not that great. That's not that great for what I'd be looking for. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd want like a, a guy that can make up some ground if my corners get burned. Which they've been doing. But I know safeties aren't typically all that fast in this game at least drafting them is not all that good there we go four four nine see i don't know man four four nine that's not that fast it's 90 speed all right 90s 90s all right 90s all right i'm not bringing in ray rice what up smeek how you doing dude let's see i can pick up fast running backs and free agent i wanted to find a a uh, rookie though that was the goal but wide receivers are typically pretty fast see yeah this guy is four three five and he's the fifth fastest so what I could do again is try to get a guy like this and then move them over to running back um, it would take a lot of development but in spot situations it could could work out pretty well for us I don't know it could backfire too but I think it'd be kind of fun. I don't, I'm not signing Jamal Charles, though. I've already said that. Trade right, sign Landry. I, I don't I don't really need him because we already have uh, Curtis Harden and Sean Sutton. I just wouldn't be able to get... I, not enough catches for everybody. 435 is 95. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I can always get somebody like that and move them out. You see what I'm... That's what I'm thinking. But I need to find out if I need to sign a strong safety, make a big push for Buchanan, or if there's going to be a guy here that I like. That's what I have to do here. So Jabbar Jordan. What do you think about this guy, Artie? Resident Scout Artie, what do you think? Let me know. I, everybody has some obsession with Dre Archer, man. Every single time I play this, they're always like, Dre Archer, get him. Get Archer, get Archer. Let's see. Sutton the running back. Sutton just killed it with 15 touchdown receptions. Why would I change his position? Get offensive line. Well, we might be able to sign that guy. If we sign that one guy, we're set. It's a matter of if we can bring him in or not. All right. Um, where's the better coverage stat? Any of these good coverage? Yeah, it doesn't look like a really strong uh, safety class here. Uh, what did it already say? Did it already say anything? Let's see. Look for O-line. Again, I, I don't need offensive line. Like, the majority of my offensive line is already solid. If anything, I need a center. But that's just going to make it so I have nowhere to put Roberts, who uh, made the Pro Bowl his rookie year. Like, it, center would be the only thing I need, but that would just kind of mess me up elsewhere. Let's see. Let's see. I wonder if I'm going to get any trade offers for Casey. These guys aren't coming out all that well in that combine. All right, let's just look at the top of the draft. Let's go back to the top of the draft here. And let's see how many, if we have any 8s. All right, we got one 8 here. Um, 
Not liking his coverage skills all that much for what he's offering here. Not liking his coverage skills all that much. 96 speed, I got you. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought we'd be... That's what I was thinking too, man. That is what I was thinking. Jared Carter, 7th round steal. Dang. Yeah, I'll go ahead and throw throw that watch symbol on him. He did look good. All right, let's see what we got combine wise. All right, well, this combine looks good. He's got good coverage skills too. I wonder why they're saying second round talent. That's kind of odd. Let's see what else we got? Anything stand out over here? I just need to, like, I don't know why I haven't watched a lot more people right here. Alright, what is he looking like? What's 4th, 6th, 3 speed? I think this guy might be pretty good. Look at that. That's pretty solid. Oh, wait. Early first round talent. This guy's a second round prospect with early first round talent. That is going to be a guy that I have to get. I'm going to have to go for that guy. Um, A juke move, alright. Uh, what's his speed? This guy has good trucking and 4.52 speed. Let's see. You saw an 8? Yeah, we already looked at the 8. We already looked at the 8. A defensive tackle. I do need a defensive tackle. We'll go over there and look at it in a second. Oh, man. Alright. It's not, it's not a really strong draft from what I'm seeing right here. Let's go look at defensive tackle some. All right. Well, this guy, they're saying first-round talent. Um, this guy's 6'9 combine. Combine grades. Where are you at? 7. Okay. 39 reps. Let's see. What do you think about this guy, Artie? 89? 89 speed's not bad. We got a lot of scouts up in here. I like it. I like it. You guys are going to help me out tonight, man. That's the way I love to see it, man. I love the chat getting involved, dude. I'm trying to read the chat as much as I can while still progressing somewhat fast. I know it's going a little slower, but... All right. Um... No, that speed's not even worth scouting with that. What's his speed? Okay, man coverage. Keep an eye on him. Um, strong safeties, though. That's what I need. Strong safeties and defensive tackle. Four, six. Wait, what's this guy? Oh, that was hit power. All right, defensive tackles. None of these guys are standing out to me a whole lot, man. Let's see. I know, I'm trying to, uh, I have two first round picks, but I, unless I trade one away, but I'm trying to find some, uh, later round guys, for sure. For sure. But not, like, none of the defensive tackles right here are standing out. Like, there's not a single one. Is there a single B-plus trait? This is the only B-plus trait. This guy might be the best option for us. But he's a 4-3 guy, he doesn't even fit our scheme, really. Who fits our scheme? This guy does, but see, I mean, I don't know, dude. We might have to try to sign a defensive tackle. We might just have to sign somebody, dude. Get an outside linebacker and move him to safety. A lot of them don't have that speed, though. Uh, this guy, was it this guy? That guy looks pretty good, too. Early first round guy. This guy, though. Might be the way to go. Oh man, four five seven speed, three four pass rusher. He looks good, but this guy is going to be available. He should be available, I would imagine. Yeah, and strength is hard to upgrade. I don't know, dude. Yeah, we have two first, two seconds, and two thirds. Yep, yep, yep. We got a lot of picks, guys. We got a lot of picks to make the right decisions here. Uh, there's a right outside linebacker with good zone coverage. Let's go back to that. He doesn't rate out all that well, though. 
Doesn't read out all that well. Is there a good quarterback, like a fast quarterback? Let's see. Trying to find the fastest quarterback. I guess I could look down. I don't know. 460. Somebody's faster than he is, though. It's probably going to be, what, this guy? No, not at all him. Uh, balanced zone run. Who would be faster? Let's see. 6'2"? It's probably this guy. Throw on the run right there. Nope, that's third. Dang! Where is the guy? Did I pass him already? Uh, that was the first guy I looked at. 6'3". What are these guys' stats? So that guy could be pretty good. Nope. 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 Was there an Appalachian State? Did I miss it? I don't think so. I don't think Afidi's in the game anymore, man. I don't think so. Um, if I can find a fast quarterback, though, I wouldn't mind picking him up. It's just a matter of there's one here. Somebody has, like, good run, and I can't find out who it would be. Let's see. Unless it's just one of those last guys down there. Because if I could find a steal, I'd be all about it. I would be all about it. Alright, we already looked at him. Maybe it's like one of those... Is there just not a guy? Maybe there's just not. Maybe there's just not a guy. Unless it's like one of those last ones. I do need to go back to get a Wooster. Thank you for reminding me. I would have forgotten about that one. Did I not... Look at everybody. So there's not a single guy that ranks first. Alright, the game's just screwing with me then. That's all it is. That is all it is. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to free agents. I know, I, I definitely want to get Peters. I do want to get Peters. Alright. Let's see. Go down here. Chris Owusu, where are you at? He mostly only plays in the preseason for us, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, there's not really a strong safety that I'm liking a whole lot there either. So I might have to overbid a little bit more. I might have to overbid. Alright. Let's go down like that. He, he declined it when I offered him more than that. So we'll see if I actually get him or not. Um, strong safety, we might have to... St okay, it's just between us and the Redskins on Buchanan here. Dang, dude. They must be really offering him a lot of money. I don't know. Twitch, are you working? What happened? What happened? Let's see. Oh, man. That's so much money to Buchanan, though. That's a five-year deal. I don't like that. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna overpay him. So let's see, he's asking for what, around six a year? Let's see, let's do this. Is that right? That that's still overpaying. He's asking for six forty overall. I mean, that'd be giving them a huge upgrade here. What are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? Dude, he is asking for some money right now, man. Let's see. Don't pay that. Well, I gotta have a strong safety. I can't just not have anybody, man. He's not going to accept it? He might not. You guys are telling me not to go strong safety. I can't just not have anybody there, though. Like, that's just a recipe for disaster. Let's just go down here. Let's just offer him this. Let's just offer him what he's asking for. And if the Redskins get him, so be it. And if not, I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. I'm just worried. I'm worried because... Our issue is our secondary. Our issue is our secondary. And we are going to be in a world of hurt. Let's see if there's another option down here. I can always try to bring back safe, uh, you know. 
I can always try to bring back one of them. The Redskins, the Redskins must be bidding a ton of money on him right now, though. Oh, dude, how are the Redskins throwing all this money around, man? Dude, they they are putting in some work. Let me tell you. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, dude. Jonathan Stewart. Jonathan Stewart. How old is he, dude? I don't really need Jonathan Stewart, though, do I? I don't need him. I mean, I'll look at him for you, Panther Nation. I'll look at him for you, but I don't want to just sign him just because he's a Panther player. You know what I mean? Like, I try not to sign 49er guys just because they're a 49er. You know what I'm saying? Like, 31 years old. I just don't need him. He would never play for me. And I would only want him on a one-year deal. I can't, dude. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Panther Nation. Please forgive me, dude. I'm sorry, man. I just can't do that. I can't just throw out that money just for no reason. Why does everybody want Trey Mason, man? How much is he asking for? What's his player card? 88 speed? Nah. I'd, I'd get somebody better. Get somebody faster. Again, I don't want... Like, I know a lot of... Everybody in the chat, you gotta realize... Everybody is shouting different players at me to sign. I can only sign a certain amount of players, man. I'm sorry that I can't get everybody that everybody would like. I wish I could. I wish it worked like that, but it's just not going to happen. All right. I don't care. Let's just get one more stat scouted there, and we'll advance a little bit and see what happens. Tavon Austin. We'll look at Tavon Austin. We'll look at him. I really wanted to put a, a rookie at that backup running back, a fast rookie. We'll see. We will see. We'll check him out. Oh, man. Kids. Cuddles has it down. Cuddles just summed up the entire chat in one post. Cuddles just goes sneaky, get everyone. Because that's all I see. Is everybody's like, just sign everybody. Every single person. Sign them all. I can only do so much. I can only do so much. Look at retirements. Yeah, let's go do that really quick. I can only do so much, guys. I can only sign so many players. All right. Retired. Justin Tuck. D'Angelo Williams. All right. Adrian Peterson retired. Wow. Yep. Not a retired. Delaney Walker retired. Evan Mathis is gone. A few former aviators there. Uh, Colts losing Forte and Frank Gore. Boy, they've been struggling, dude. They have been struggling, man. All right. I wish you could just sort it by overall. That would make life so much easier. These are all, like, free agents, so I don't even think these guys are on teams anymore. There's Jared Allen. So. There are those guys. There are those guys. Higher overall running back than he is wide receiver. All right. I really just wanted to get a, a rookie, but if you guys want Tavon Austin, man, it seems like everybody is just screaming at me to sign Tavon Austin. Where is he at? Did I pass him? Is he lower than that? Or did they already move him over to running back? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Oh, that scares me so much. Let's see. Where's he at? No, he hadn't moved over yet. So he should still be a wide receiver, right? Am I blind? Or are you guys just all screaming at me to sign a player that's not even a free agent? He already signed? Alright, well we can't do it. If, he, if we already signed him, we can't do it. If he signs somewhere. Alright. So, again... I still might try to do that at running back. That's what I want to do. I think it'd be fun to kind of have a little project like that. Like, get a late round fast wide receiver and just see if we can make him a running back. It would take a lot of time, you know, some patience with him. Uh, there's not really that many good looking guys. But, you know, another thing with these guys is they're going to be able to catch the ball out of the backfield. They're going to be able to play that Dexter cluster role perfectly for me. And that's what I'm looking for. That would just be brilliant. Ooh. What's 457 speed? First round talent in the second round there. 
Alright. I'll need to scout some more right tackles in case I cannot get that other guy that I was looking at. Let's see. Nobody's standing out a whole lot here, though. He's 72? Is he really a 72? Oh, man. Alright, we'll go back to look for him. 87 speed for that tight end? Dude. Dude. 87 speed for that tight end. That'd be pretty nice. Oh, man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you, Arju. I'm imagining that was Arju, because Arju's like the only one that actually streams. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. He's way down here. That's Miles Austin. Oh, jeez. 95 speed, though. You guys really want him. I'll do it for you guys. I'll do it for you guys. I don't really want him. I really don't. But I've had you guys spamming up the chat for like the last two hours about him. So we'll do it. We'll do it for you guys. Otherwise, I would not be picking him. That was Rapid. Oh, thank you, Rapid. Rapid's never streamed over there, Arju. It's just always you. So that's why I assumed. I'll never tell. Oh, man. Let's see. Whoop. All right. Strong safeties. I'm going to have to scout it more, dude. Because if I, I if I can't get Buchanan, I'm going to have to find something. I'm going to have to figure so. Oh. Fett, thank you for that host, dude. I appreciate you, man. This guy's got good catching. I don't see where his zone coverage is, which worries me. But... Remorius Culliver actually might be an alright pick. What do you think, Artie? Ooh. Alright, Artie, let me... I want Artie's opinion on these... I, I want everybody's opinion, but Artie knows his, his scouting. What do you think about these two safeties? I like his catching. And if B- is his catching, this guy could still have C-plus man coverage. That, that is still a potential thing. Now, he's not quite as fast or as strong. But, this guy might be pretty good. He might be pretty good. And he fits a hybrid defense. This guy is 4-3. Um, here we go. Another, all right. Some of these guys are actually okay. They, they just don't stand out with any one stat. But, overall, they're not bad options. We might be able to get a guy right there. We might be able to get a strong safety after all. If we need to. If we need to, Stan already scouted him. All right, let's see. Cole is better. Jordan's better. Oh man, Oliver in eighty-three. Oh my gosh, Bleaky with a two-dollar donation, dude. Everybody, throw up some love for Bleaky, dude. Thank you so much for that donation, man. I appreciate you. Throw up the Bleaky love. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see how our negotiations are going. Yeah, I think the Reds... I, I might be okay letting Buchanan go. Let's do it. Let's let him go. Let's not even try. You know what? I'm going to keep a bid on him, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bid a lot less. Just in case the Redskins back out. Just in case the Redskins back out. We're going to do that. Did it actually go down? Did I do it right? Yeah. We're going to do that in case the Redskins back out. But otherwise, we'll let them go. I do want DJ Fluker here. Um, Roby, we're the number one team on Roby now. How much did I bid on him, though? Oh, gosh. Jake! Another $5 donation. Let's see. Even if you get Austin, can PLZ still get a WR to ARB for me, PLZZZ? Yes, Jake. Yes, we will, dude. You've been you've been incredible. So, we'll try to do it, man. Get a, a wide receiver to running back, you said, right? Let me go back and check that. Everybody throw up some love for Jake. Yeah. A wide receiver to running back. Yeah. Because that was what I wanted to do anyway. That's what I really wanted to do. The chat just doesn't want me to do that. <laughs> The chat has no interest in me doing that, but we'll do it because I kind of want to do it anyway, Jake. So, yes, I'm down. I'm still down, dude. Lighting, what up, dude? How you doing, man? The robot voice. I don't know why, man. Oh, oh, that robot voice. That always does that. The uh, text to chat. Is that what you're talking about? 
That always does that. But everybody throw up some love for Bleaky and Jake. Thank you guys very much. All right, let's see if we can do it, man. Let's see if we can make this happen. Roby not worth it. I didn't really want Roby. I just kind of did because the chat was asking for him. Austin and Roby, I'm only getting for the chat. I don't think I would make those moves, to be honest. But you guys are here showing some support, man. So I definitely want to listen to you guys. We did not get Fluker. We got the two guys I didn't want. <laughs> That's fine. How did Fluker? We were offering him the most money, man. Ah, oh, all right. Oh, trade offers for Casey. Here we go. Here we go. Third round picks. Second rounders next year. If anything, I should probably go a second next year, right? I already have six picks in the first three rounds here. Let's... Before I accept something, let's go back to scouting. Let's look at our our board. Let's let's try to get some kind of draft board going on so we know what we want to get. And we can kind of get a game plan for who to go for, who to target. I need to, to keep an eye on him. Um, let's see. Good catching. I'll keep an eye on him too. This guy's got good catching too. I don't know how fast he is, though. Yeah, he's not fast. Um, and I don't really need a tight end, to be honest. I'm just kind of... I don't really want to draft a tackle this high, I don't think. Unless we find a guy that's like a huge steal. Um, I could use a right tackle, though. I really could. And nobody's really standing out over here. Uh, this guy... He doesn't have great blocking. Impact block is the most difficult to, to train up, but if his run block blocking is a B minus, his pass blocking is worse than that. I'm gonna keep an eye on him though, because we have a lot of picks to work with. Um, this guy's not far behind on on his strength there, so we'll try that out. What up, Winger? Oh man! <laughs> Cue ball, dude. <laughs> destroy the world and start world war three <laughs> dude thank you so much man i appreciate that cue ball oh man oh his his strength is awful down there hey, everybody throw up some love for cue ball uh oh gosh green nation get peters and move him to strong safety I don't know, man. I don't want to. Peters and move him to SS, please. It would be a better choice than the WRCB thing. Lol. Hashtag rise up. The W oh wide receiver quarterback thing. Uh, yeah. I don't really want to. I don't. I don't think he'd be good over there. If I were to get Peters, I'd want to keep him at right outside linebacker because he's obviously going to be a star there. Like he's early first round talent. I feel like this guy's going to be a star right outside linebacker. So I, changing him over would kind of worry me a little bit. Um, but I like Patrick more anyway. I th Oh, wait, not Patrick. I'm sorry. I like... Uh, where's the guy I like more? Did he move? Wait, Peters was that guy. So you know what happened? Peters was a second round guy and other teams caught on and other teams are now valuing him as an early first round pick. Because other teams have been scouting him. What was it? Last week he was a second round guy. Now he's the sixth overall. Dang. We just got screwed over there, man. I thought I had a steal. Like he was like my go-to safety option. Everybody throw up some love for Green Nation though. Green Nation, thank you so much, dude. Trade Casey or Casey to defensive tackle. A lot of people are saying just move Casey to defensive tackle. A lot of people. 63% of the people are saying that. Trade Casey is 19%. And then feed him to the Gators is 14%. Alright, if you guys want to move Casey to defensive tackle, we'll do that. We'll do that. That's fine by me. That's a good option. Because I don't really see a defensive tackle here that's standing out to me a whole lot. Man, Peters though. We got screwed. Blame Rapid. Blame rapid for sure, dude. Um, yeah, I don't know that there's a guy here that I'm, I'm thrilled about. 
So, I wouldn't mind making that move. I wouldn't mind. We're running a 3-4. Running a 3-4. Draft that right tackle named Artie. Is there a right tackle named Artie? Artie! Artie, we're going to keep an eye on him for you. We're going to keep an eye on him for you, Artie. Oh, man. You can still try to move him over? I But if I move him over before preseason, he's going to be stuck there all year long. You have to make that decision early on. All right, so if we are going to move him over, I need to shore up my offense or my defensive line a little bit more. Um, so who do we who do we like in here? This guy's good block shooting. He doesn't grade out well. None of these guys look like they grade out all too well. Uh, this guy only 17 reps, dude. That is not much at all. Um, this guy looks okay though. This guy looks all right. We already we're already keeping an eye on him. This guy has some speed, but no reps at all. Um, 30 reps. All right. I don't know about that though. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Holden James a free agent? We could look, dude. We could look. That's a good idea. I doubt he is. I doubt he is, but I don't mind looking around. Let's see. Alright. Late seventh round guy, that's not so bad, right? That's not so bad for seventh round. Uh I'm not liking this draft though. Are you guys liking this draft? Because I am not really liking this draft much. I don't know about y'all, man, but it's it's just not standing out to me right now. Not really standing out to me a whole lot. I don't really know if there's anything that I'm like looking at that I'm like, yes, I really want to make that move. There's not somebody that I... Peters was the one guy. Peters was the one guy I was pretty thrilled about, but now everybody else is on to him too. Is it possible to buy a new team on owner mode? I don't think so. All right, let's just take him off the trade block. If you guys want to move him over to defensive tackle, we'll give that a shot. I'm cool with that. Leonard Williams is on the trade block. Interesting to see that. All right. I cannot believe we did not get that uh, get DJ Fluker there, though. I thought for sure we were going to have him. This draft is trash. That's what I'm saying, man. It's just not a good draft. It's really everybody in the chat is agreeing. Let's see. I thought it was Legend. I don't know, man. I thought it was going to be, but it's not looking like it. Not looking like it upon closer examination. We have a lot of picks, but I'm going to be trading a lot. I'll tell you right that right now. I'm going to have to trade a lot, dude. I can't. I can't. Oh, dude. Martavius Bryant's still there. All right. Worst case scenario, Whitner is there uh, for strong safety. If I need a stopgap for a year, Whitner is our guy, dude. We're, we're set there. Okay. I don't even need to worry about strong safety. I'm still going to. I'm still going to look for one. But worst case scenario, I can bring in Whitner, and uh, I'll be all right with that. So let's go ahead and look at him. Um, we didn't we didn't do a whole lot there, man. All right, Bailey going to the Redskins. Star Latulale going to the Rams. Calvin Pryor going to the Redskins. Where did the Redskins get all this money, dude? They're just throwing it out of everybody right now. Uh, we might be able to do that, Green Nation. We might be able to do that because the reason I drafted him is he actually does have good zone coverage. So we might be able to do that. Let's see. All right, Jamal Charles, Jeremy Hill going to the Patriots, Marshawn Lynch leaving the Seahawks, Reese going to the Browns, Geno Atkins the Bears. Oh gosh, scares me. Oh man, let's see. Bye blue. Try I get night at distant playing time. He can be a beast. Bye blue. Dude, I agree. I really wanted Rice to, uh, Rice. I really wanted Knight to play more, man. Uh, for sure, dude. Thank you so much. Everybody throw up some love for that donation, dude. I appreciate your greatness. Um, we'll look into that, dude. That's one of the reasons I was okay with moving on from Casey. But look at the Redskins, dude. The Redskins are just signing everybody and their mother. And so are the Rams. The Rams are doing this as well, man. Wow, so he chose to go to the Rams over us because we bid more money on him. We bid more money. Marquest and Huff going to the Texans. Really, bro? Really? 
He's gonna do us like that. All right. All right, I see you. Oh, man. Dude, look at the Rams go. The Rams and the Redskins, dude. Ladarius Green. I would not have mind signing him, dude. That guy's got a lot of speed. Rams again. Wow. Look at that, dude. Unbelievable, man. They just had all of the money in the world right now. They just had all of the money in the world, apparently. Alright. It's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what we can do with the NFL Draft. Here we go.